Today's video is brought to you by Audible.com. What's up, YouTube? See, Leon, like here, and today I'll be doing another episode of my Yu-Gi-Oh! Legendary Collection 3 Yu-Gi's World Search for the Envoy. And hopefully I get some awesome pulls for you guys, and then I'll ask you guys to check my channel and subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Alright, let's pop these mini boxes open, because once again I have three Legendary Collection 3 Yu-Gi's Worlds to open. Here we go. First mini box. Alright. I have done a whole bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh! Legendary Collection 3 videos already on my channel, if you guys want to go check them out. I did an extravaganza, I did another episode of my search for the Envoy. So, yeah, and I've yet to pull a Black Lesser Soldier Envoy at the beginning, so that's why I called this video series that. And there's also Matt in here, if you guys remember that. And then there's some promo, it's a promo sealed board account, because I'm going to leave those in for now, because I've already gone over those along with the uh, promos that are in the box. Okay, so, five booster packs. Here we go. We're searching for Black Luster Soldier Envoy of the beginning, and also, I have yet to pull Dark Paladin or even Dark Magician Girl. And I've opened, I think, I think I'm at 13 of these mini boxes now. So yeah, I haven't had very good luck, so. Let's do it. I think it's 12. Okay, first mini pack, or mega pack. We have Guardian Trice. Draining Shield, Mystic Box, a rare Big Eye, and ooh, nice, an Ultra Rare Royal Decree. Very nice. Pretty card. And ooh, a Cigarette Book of Moon. Awesome. I'll take that. I'll take that. And then a Super Rare White Horn Dragon. Interesting. And then we have Puppet Master. He's actually a pretty awesome looking dude. And magicians unite. That was a pretty pretty good mega pack right there. Wow, it's a good way to start it off. All right, next mega pack. We have Mystic Swordsman level two, Chain Destruction, a rare Tomb Goblin attack force, and oh nice, an ultra rare Gravekeeper's Descendant. I'll take Gravekeepers all day, all day. And we have a Secret Rare Mirror Force. Oh baby. Wow, I've pulled so many Secret Rare Mirror Forces, and I love it every time. And we have a Super Rare, ooh, nice, an Agent of Creation, Venus. Very nice card right there, Super Rare. Uh, I'm actually thinking of making an Agent deck pretty soon, so maybe I'll do a profile for that or something like that. And so we got Gravekeeper's Descendant, Mirror Force, and Agent of Creation under this one. We have Soul Rope, Messenger of Peace, and Nimble Mamonga. Say that five times fast. Nimble mungo, nimble nimble mungo, mungo. And then we have uh, level limit area A, stray lands, a rare hand of Nethys. Nice. And then, ooh, nice. An ultra rare mind crush. Pretty cool. And a secret rare mystic tomato. And then a super rare tri horn dragon. Awesome. Once again, an unworthy dragon with three sharp horns sprouting from its head. Another Magicians Unite, the creator and magi magicians, magical, magical magicians hats. All right, so two more mega packs out of this one. Okay, we have Armed Dragon Level Five, Green Baboon Defender of the Forest, Toon Mass Sorcerer, another Ultra Rare Gravekeeper, Gravekeeper's Guard. Nice. And then we have a Super Rare Pyramid Turtle. That'll go along with that Mystic Tomato. And then a Super Rare Dragon Master Knight. Uh, awesome. Love this guy. Even when I was watching the episodes, I think it was after the Battle City arc, so uh, forget when they were on that island, or maybe it was the end of Battle City, when they Yugi, Yugi and Kaiba pulled out Dragon Master Knight to fight against uh, Five Get Headed, Five God Dragon, whatever they called it in the show. Awesome. Very awesome. Dark Magician Knight, D Fusion, and Charma Shabati. Shabti, Shati. Okay, this pack doesn't want to open normally. We have the Earth Hex Sealed Fusion, Soul Taker. I'm gonna take your soul. And then Dark Refer, a rare Dark Magic Curtain, pretty. A Ultra Smashing Ground, very nice. And a Super Rare Feather of the Phoenix. That'll do some damage and not, because it's a feather. Ooh, and another super agent of creation, Venus. Wow. 
I got a Feather of the Phoenix and Age of Creation Venus. It's very Enix cards. Okay. And then we have Contract with the Abyss and Horus the Black Flame Dragon, level 8. Awesome. But seriously, though, uh, Age of Creation Venus, it's a good card. That's awesome. I'll take that for a mega pack. Oh, here's the promo pack. Not going to pop that. Yeah, whatever. I'll pop, I'll pop one open. Why not? Real quick. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. It's time to pop, 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 pop open the purple promo pack. So it's uh, Dark Necrofear, Guardian Yatos, Five-Headed Dragon, and then Token. Oh, another Token, and then a third t -t Token. Awesome. Just, I'll set these, like, over there. Even though you can't see them, they're there. Okay. Now for another mini box. You guys ready for this? Here we go. So once again, I'll be opening three as we search for this Envoy Black Luster Soldier awesome man. Um, and once again, if I don't pull the Black Luster Soldier Envoy or if I just feel like opening more Legendary Collection 3s, I will do another video or episode of Search for the Envoy next month. So... Be ready for that, and also, I know the new Yu-Gi-Oh! 10 is coming out soon, or if it already came out, I will get that for you guys pretty quickly. Alright, here's five more Mega Packs. Okay. Let's get started. First, Mega Pack. We have Dark Master Zork. Arm Dragon level 5, Dark Lord Zorato, D Scout, plain rare, cool. And Ultra Rare Heavy Storm, very nice. Beautiful Ultra Rare card, and another Secret Rare Mirror Force! Oh baby, oh, this, that is just awesome. Wow. Wow. Two Secret Rare Mirror Forces, one per mini box. That is sweet. And we have a Super Rare Solar Flare Dragon. It's actually a pretty cool Super Rare, if you guys want to see that. And we have, uh, it's like a demon dragon, actually. Let's take a closer look at it. It's actually a really cool looking dude. Alright, then we have level up and arm dragon level 3. Alright, another mega pack. The Creator Incarnate. Uh, spell Economics. Uh, Dark Magic Curtain. A Ultra Breaker, the Magical Warrior. That is cool. I'm getting lots of awesome Ultra Rares. This is crazy. It's like the best Ultra Rares I've had in a while. Sweetness. And a Secret Rare Phoenix Wing Wind Blast. I think I always used to say that wrong when I was a kid. I don't know why. Just the Phoenix Wing Wind Blast never clicked in my head. Uh, and then, ooh, a Super Mystical Shine Ball. Wow. So two Venuses and one Shine Ball so far. This is great. A Soul of Light covered by Mystical Shine. When you see its beautiful shape, you, your dream will come true. <laughs> Awesome. And then we have a uh, gold sarcophagus, a very good common. Nice. A feral imp, a playful little fiend that lurks in the dark, waiting to attack an unwary enemy. Sweet. And then Dark Knight Parshath. Alright, three more mega packs. Another Soul Taker. And we have Dark Flare Knights, Arsenal Summoner, Hand of Nephthys, a Ultra Beckoning Light. Sweetness. Goes in those light decks. Can be very beckoning. And a Secret Rare Commander coming what? Ton. And a Super Rare Chimera, the Mythical Flying Beast. Or Flying Mythical Beast. Whichever way you want to fly, it's either mythical. Alright, then we have Silent Swordsman level 3 and Silent Magician level 4. That was very silent of them to be together. Okay. I'm just loving the jokes today. The Dark Creator. Cool. Spell Economics, a rare multiply. Another ultra rare world decree. So sweet. And then we have a Secret Rare Dark Hole. That is awesome. Wow. I think I've only pulled one of those so far. So that's got to be a pretty hard card to pull. For me, anyways. Because for everyone else, it seems easy to pull these awesome cards. So, two Mirror Forces and a Dark Hole so far. And a Book of Moon from the Secret Rares. Very nice. And we have Super Sakuretsu Armor, the old dimensional prison. This card used to be really good, actually. I mean, when Mirror Force was, I think it was, it was limited, not banned. Yeah, three Sakuretsus was, was like the thing back in the day. Dark Crisis. Even after Dark Crisis, though, for a while. My Body is a Shield. 
Banisher of the Light, and Horus the Black Flame Dragon, level, level what? Level 8. We have Knight's Tail, Invader of Darkness, Detonate, Big Eye, and Ultra Gravekeeper's Guard. Cool. And another Zero Wing, Wind Blast, and then a double spell. Super rare. We got Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl, but like a hipster Dark Magician Girl going at me. Uh, Goblin Fan and Dark Nephthys. Okay, one more mini box. Are you guys excited? Because I'm excited. It's, it's our last mini box, and we haven't pulled Black Luster Soldier Envoy at the beginning yet. So that means more Search for the Envoy episodes. Yay. Okay. Here we go. Alright, first, make a pack. Oh, very nice. Silent Magician level 8. Alpha the Magnet Warrior. Alpha, Beta, and Megama meld as one to form a powerful monster. Tune Table of Contents. Rare, that's an awesome card. A Ultra Con in the Swords Mistress. A Lady Warrior armed with a sword and shield. She floats lightly and stings sharply. And then a Super... Oh, a Secret Rare Torrential Tribute. That's pretty. Wow. That's a really cool card. And then a Super Magic Cylinder. Wow. The Trap Pack. Well, not really, because the Ultra wasn't a trap, but still. A two-trap pack. Silent Magician Level 4 and Messenger of Peace and Puppet Master. Scary looking dude. Alright. Maneater Bug. Non-spellcasting area. Centrifugal Field. A Ultra Rare Needle Worm. A Super Rare Prohibition. And a Super Rare Gravity Bind. I named Gravity. I wonder how they came up with that picture. You know, I've seen it so many times now, it's just like, you know, normal to see it. But what exactly is going on there? We'll never know. Uh, Heart of the Underdog. That was a fun card. Uh, the Tricky and Dark Horse. All right, three Mega Packs left out of this. Flip Trick Collection 3, Yugi's World Search for the Envoy episode. All right, we have Rod of Silence. Hey, yes. Dark Master Zork. Solemn Warning. Yes. It's common. That's still awesome to pull. A rare Toon Goblin Attack Force. An Ultra Bottomless Trap Hole. Oh, baby. Very nice. Sweetness. I already got my money back for the pack. And, ooh, a Secret Rare Pot of Greed. Draw me two cards. Thank you very much. It's probably, I mean, technically it's not like the best Yu-Gi-Oh card, but it's, it's the most consistent. It's on automatic two for one, every time. Uh, Mystical Shine Ball again. And don't forget, it's a Soul of Light covered by Mystical Shine. And when you see its beautiful shape, your dream will come true. And then Contract with the Abyss and Horus the Black Flame Dragon, level eight. So that's two Shine Balls, which is awesome, and two Venuses. So this is, this is fun. Then we have Union Attack, Mystical Swordsman level 6, Toon Mass Sorcerer, and another Ultra Rare Mind Crush. Very sweet. And oh baby, there he is, Secret Rare Black Luster Soldier, Envoy of the Beginning. The search is over. <laughs> oh my god, and the second to last freaking Mega Pack of the three mini boxes. That is crazy. I'm going to wake up everyone around me if they're not awake yet, that's for sure. Wow. Oh, baby, there he is, Black Luster Soldier, Envoy of the Beginning, Seeker Rare, the most expensive, hardest to pull card in the set, and I have finally pulled him, or hardest to pull card for me, I don't know, maybe you guys get him every pack. Wow. So it took me, that was my 15th mini box, I forget how many I've opened on my channel, but I've definitely at least opened 15 of these in my life. I think that's 12 on my channel. But yeah, 15 mini boxes, and I finally pulled Blacklister Soldier Envoy of the beginning. The search technically isn't over because I haven't pulled Dark Paladin or uh, Dark Magician Girl. So if you guys want to see more Search for the Envoy episodes, because we can always search for more Envoys. I mean, I wouldn't mind pulling a Blacklister Soldier Envoy of the beginning every mini box, like I said. But yeah, if you guys want me to do more episodes, just let me know in the comments below of this video, and I will be sure to make more uh, pretty much 
Yu-Gi-Oh! Legendary Collection 3, Yu-Gi's World openings. Okay. Oh, beautiful. Let's just look at him for another five minutes. Okay. Ah, oh, it took me so long, so much time, effort, and money to pull that man. <laughs> Alright, then we have Salvage Super Rare. That's actually really cool. Super Rare. Mask of Restrict, another Gold Sarcophagus, awesome, and Mystical Elf, a delicate elf that lacks offense but has a terrific defense backed by Mystical Power. Alright, now the final pack of Destiny, even though we technically pulled our pack of Destiny. What are we destined for in this pack? This mega pack. Wow. Can't believe I got him. It's just so surreal. <laughs> Ordeal of the Traveler, Mystic Box, Silent Swords in level 5, Dark Magic Curtain, a ultra rare upstart goblin, awesome. That is a very nice ultra rare. And a super rare horn of heaven. Oh, this is a heavenly last pack. And a super rare fissure. All right. And the magicians unite. And the creator has has created this awesome mini box for me to open a blacklister soldier envoy at the beginning of. And uh, before we do our recap, let's take a look at today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is Audible.com, and Audible is the leading provider of downloadable digital audiobooks along with spoken word entertainment. They have over 100,000 different titles to choose from, and they can be downloaded to your computer, your phone, your tablet, or even your MP3 player. And they have a whole bunch of different genres to choose from, like thriller, science fiction, and even comedy. And if you guys want, you can listen to these anywhere, anytime. So like if you're dueling in the Shadow Realms, or even if you're playing some League of Legends. Personally, one of my favorite books that I downloaded was The Hobbit. If you guys want to download a book for free, all that you guys need to do is go to audiblepodcast.com forward slash unlucky, and I'll put that link in the description below. And once again, that is audiblepodcast.com forward slash unlucky. And thank you guys, and please check them out. All right, so first let's take a look at some of the uh, hard-to-get commons that I pulled, the rare commons. Just a weird thing to say in Yu-Gi-Oh! Anyways, uh, Messenger Beast pulled two of those, uh, two Soul Takers, two Gold Sarcophaguses. It's actually, this is probably the best three... Uh, mini boxes of Legendary Collection 3 Yu-Gi-Oh! World that I've ever opened, to be honest. It's just, it's so good. I mean, the Envoy probably, you know, topped it off, of course, but the fact that it pulled so many good cards is crazy. And you'll see here. Uh, two Messenger Piece, two Soul Takers, two Gold Sarcophaguses, and one Soul Morning, which is awesome. That's really good commons right there. Or just commons that you can use in many different decks. Um, then let's go over Super Rares. We have Double Spell, Salvage, Fisher, Magic Cylinder, Gravity Bind, Sakuretsu Armor, Kamir the Flying Myth the Mythical Beast, a Dragon Master Knight, awesome. Two Agent of Creation Venuses and two Mystical Shine Balls. That's really actually awesome because I haven't pulled too many of these out of my 12 to 15, 12 uh, Legendary Collections that I've already opened, so that's pretty cool. Uh, Solar Flare Dragon, White Horn Dragon, and Trihorn Dragon. So that's really awesome that I pulled those, especially with Dragon Master Knight. And um, a super that I didn't pull that usually is pretty awesome is... Uh, Dark World Dealings, not Dark World Dealings, uh, can't remember the name of it right now, you need to look at your opponent's hand, discard one card, sorry for randomly forget things during videos, I'll probably remember in a bit, uh, we got Needleworm for Ultra Rares, Conan the Swords Mistress, Gravekeeper's Guard, um, Beckoning Light, Breaker the Magical Warrior, Smashing Ground, another Gravekeeper's Guard, and then Gravekeeper's Descendant Ultra Rare, which is really cool, and Upstart Goblin, awesome, two Mind Crushes, two Royal Decrees, Heavy Storm, and then don't forget the Bottomless Trap Hole Ultra Rare. That's amazing, Ultra Rares right there, guys. That's really, that's really good. And um, now for the secrets. The secrets of destiny. Uh, we have Pyramid Turtle, Mystic Tomato, a Feather of the Phoenix, Horn of Heaven, Pot of Greed, Prohibition, Phoenix Wing Wind Blast, Commander Covington. And now uh, we have, for the awesome secret rares, we have Torrential Tribute, Book of Moon, two Mirror Forces, two Mirror Forces out of three mini boxes. That's crazy. A Dark Hole, which has been really hard to pull for me. And then the almighty, one-of-a-kind, first I've ever pulled out of 15 mini boxes. Black Luster Soldier Envoy of the beginning. Awesome. Very awesome. So, wow, that's just an extremely good opening right here. I'll just put these up here. And once again, you guys, thanks for watching. And you know I have a lot of videos coming up. I have my... 100-pack uh, opening extravaganza coming up next week, so I'll make a few episodes for that. And uh, also, I'm trying to start the live stream like I keep telling you guys. I'm trying to get it done. Uh, just keep, you know, keep tuned in on Facebook and Twitter, and I'll have, you know, updates going up through there. And uh, also, you know, I have a tin opening this week coming up.
So thank you guys for watching it. Superly unlucky. Signing out.